Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. On a monitor, all images must be displayed in pixels on screen. So before we can manipulate the images, we must learn more about how pixels are displayed and measured. When an image is displayed on your monitor, it's rendered according to the pixel dimensions of the graphic and the display settings and size of your monitor. The image's pixel dimensions are the width and height of the image in pixels. The number of pixels displayed in an image is measured in pixels per inch, or PPI. Generally speaking, the higher the PPI, the higher the quality of the image. The digital size of an image, usually measured in kilobytes, megabytes, or even gigabytes, is proportional to the pixel dimensions of the image. Images with a higher PPI may have a higher resolution and may produce greater detail when printed, but they may also print more slowly and take more disk space for storage. Photoshop CS5 supports a maximum pixel dimension setting of 300,000 by 300,000 pixels per image, which is huge. You should be aware that resizing an image to pixel dimensions greater than 30,000 may render the image incompatible with older versions of Photoshop and or other applications. You can make adjustments to the size of an image by using the image size dialog box. You can access this dialog box by selecting image and then image size from the menu bar. And we'll see the image size dialog box that we see here. Now you will find this under image and resize and then image size in versions CS2 and previous versions but you'll get the same dialog box. In this dialog box you can select how it should resample images when the size of the image changes. When you increase the size of an image you add new pixels to the image. The new pixels will be added to the image based on the color values of existing pixels in the image. Now you want to make sure that you check the Constrain Proportions checkbox. That's located right here. And that will automatically change the height or width of your image as you change the other one while keeping your image in proportion. Scale Styles, located just above that, allows you to scale any effects applied proportionally when you resize the image. Otherwise, you might end up with a warped image. You specify an interpolation method using the drop-down to the right of the Resample Image checkbox in this dialog box. So, Resample Image, which is right here, once that's checked, you have a few choices. You can generally resample down and not lose image quality. However, resampling up or adding pixels can often result in an image that's a bit blurry. As far as methods of interpolation go, you can select either nearest neighbor, which is the top choice, and that is fast but of less quality than the other choices. You could also select bilinear, which results in a medium quality image. Use bicubic, which is the default, for a slow but more precise method. You can also set the bicubic resampling to favor producing a smoother or sharper image by selecting either bicubic smoother or bicubic sharper. But once you've adjusted all of your settings and perhaps you want to go in here and change the dimensions, say we want to change this to 800, and because we have constrained proportions checked, it automatically adjusts the height and other dimensions. When you have your choices, you select OK, and you will change your image size and the resolution accordingly. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.